Hey guys, this tutorial is going to cover how to make snapshots of your virtual machine. Now, I'm using the virtual machine that I created in the last video, and you can see down at the bottom that this virtual machine is stored in this location. A snapshot allows us to grab a copy or an image of the virtual machine that we can always go back to in the event that something becomes corrupted or damaged in our virtual machine. So I've just finished the entire setup for my Windows 10 virtual machine. So I'd like to take a snapshot of it and save that state in case I ever want to go back. We can do that by right clicking on the name of the virtual machine, going to the snapshot option and choose take snapshot. We give it a snapshot name such as finished installing Windows 10 and tell it to take a snapshot. And that's all there is to it. If we'd like to go back to that particular snapshot, we can right click, select snapshot, and see in our snapshot manager each of the snapshots that we've taken. So we have the snapshot we took and labeled finished installing. And now we're here because it doesn't know if we've made any changes since taking that snapshot. So if we wanted to, we could always click on it and go back to that particular snapshot. We can do that simply by right clicking and saying go to snapshot. And that would revert all the changes that we've made back to the state that we saved at this point in time. One last thing I'd like to show you is where the virtual machines are stored. So I have mine in my documents folder under virtual machines. Here I can see the Windows 10 virtual machine that I created for our IT 1130 course. And under that, I can see all the files that make the virtual machine. Probably the most interesting to note is the VMDK, which is a virtual disk drive. And this is our hard drive from our virtual machine. As you can see, it's over 10 gigabytes in size. We also have our snapshot information stored in the same folder as another set of files. So at any time we can go back to that set of files and restore our state. So if you would ever like to copy this virtual machine to another computer, all you need to do is come into this folder, make sure that VMware is closed, and then copy these files to a thumb drive or a portable hard drive uh, or whatever media, and then take them with you and copy them onto the new host computer. 